in the gym and at school, just as anywhere else. Makeup should be right for the occasion. And it should always be right for one's face. Each face is different. If a face is rather round, with rounded features, some of the curves can be minimized. The lines can be made to appear longer. A heavy chin can be shaded to appear smaller. For every day, she shouldn't need foundation or base makeup, except to cover skin blemishes and irregularities. Apply this lightly. Whether she has acne or not, proper cleansing several times a day is essential. With a brush, make small feathery strokes. The eyebrow is arched outward and slightly extended at the outer corner to balance the width of the face. She keeps her eyelashes feathery with light applications. Remember to keep it subtle. She can balance a heavy bottom lip by enlarging the upper lip slightly, being careful not to overemphasize it. Keep a neat edge. Always use a lipstick brush. For a rounded face and short neck, it is best to keep hair away from your neck, with emphasis on height. She can use a slight bang for a softening effect. For hair to be truly woman's crowning glory, shampoo regularly and brush daily. If one has extremely dry hair, use a conditioner there are many available. For school, keep your grooming simple. The minimum of makeup is in best taste. On special occasions, she may want to emphasize her eyes somewhat more. Brush the eyebrows upward and outward. Be sure to use light feathery strokes. It's still important to look natural. She avoids darker eyeliner and extends it well out to the corner on the upper lid. If she wishes a bit of added emphasis to her eyes, then she uses a light application of eye shadow, preferably brown or gray tones. The application of lipstick is the same for evening as for daytime. Remember to use colors in harmony with your dress. Avoid dark shades. For added height, a slight hair tease is necessary. There are various ways of combing the hair, but you must observe the basic rules which apply to a round face.
The more adept you become, the more improvisation you can make. If a face is angular or square, makeup and hair will require different attention. As she studies her face, she's visualizing what's best for her. Each face is different. An angular face having straight eyebrows, smallish eyes, a rather long nose, a somewhat turned down mouth and a prominent chin can be greatly enhanced by correct use of makeup and hairstyling. Arch the eyebrows, enlarge the eyes, use a slightly darker base across the tips of nose and chin and have a suggestion of an upward curve to the corners of the mouth. A light touch of rouge will help to minimize the width of cheek. Use a slightly moist sponge when applying either pancake or cream foundation base. Use the fingers to blend in a cream foundation. Then, apply a touch of powder. Those who have the odd blemish need only do this on those areas. Two light applications of mascara are better than one heavy application. Eyelashes should remain feathery, not stuck together. When applying lipstick, be sure not to exaggerate, taking careful note never to turn down the corners of the mouth. If the natural curve of the lips turn down, try to give the top lip a slight lift at the corners and avoid darker shades of lipstick since this draws attention to it. Her features can also be balanced and set off by her hairdo. An angular face requires a hairstyle with width at the sides and a soft curve into the face. A suggestion of a bang will also help soften a determined chin. An angular face requires a hairdo that has a softening effect for its sharp features. In the classroom, makeup should be used sparingly. Remember that it is not the amount of makeup, but the proper use of it that is important. For special evenings, she may use a pencil eyeliner and a hint of some eyeshadow. The eyebrow pencil should be well sharpened. Keep the line fine. Define the proper outline of the lips. The brush should be sufficiently laden with lipstick to allow the brush to move freely. Make certain the shade of lipstick complements the color of the dress. A well made up face should do no more than enhance her appearance. She should never become a caricature of herself. Regardless of the type of face, the very young teenager requires little or no makeup at all. If a foundation base is necessary, carefully choose it to match one's own skin tones. The oval face is considered the ideal shape and therefore little correction is needed. Emphasis of the eyes and careful treatment of lips are all that are necessary. In this instance, a too generous mouth should appear to be smaller.
Brush eyebrows neatly into place. Use an upward and outward motion. Blend a makeup base over the entire mouth area, being careful to extend right out toward the edge of the lip. Then, press on powder. To minimize a mouth, the lipstick should not cover the natural line. Try to stay well within the confines of the lip line if possible, but don't overdo it. If the forehead is narrow across, swing a wisp or a wave of hair into the temples to counteract this. A curl may be brought forward onto the cheek. The oval face permits many variations of hairstyles. It may be fun to try several. A weekly shampoo is important. Omit heavy oils that only cause the hair to look greasy. In or out of class, it is to her advantage to present a good image. A little mascara may be used on eyelashes for evening makeup. Also, the mouth receives the same treatment. Avoid shades that attract attention to the lips if they are naturally large. Good hair grooming and the least amount of makeup constitute the best results for the very young teenager. The keynote for makeup for blonde-haired girls is softness in color and softness in application. Most blondes have fair eyelashes and brows. Stress the eyes, but don't make them appear harsh. Every face has some good features, so first learn to recognize it and then to draw attention to it. Perhaps she wants to accentuate the eyes. or enlarge a top lip that is either too small or severe. By slightly widening the separation between the peaks of the lips, she manages to make the nose seem narrower. Always use a brown mascara and eyebrow pencil. Black is too harsh. A little goes a long way. An oblong face needs the illusion of width along the sides of the face and should reach to just below the tip of the ear. A soft bang over the forehead will also reduce the length. Hair is woman's crowning glory, so treat it properly. It is most important that the hair flatters not only the shape of the face, but also the figure. For instance, a short girl should never wear an exaggerated high hairdo. It unbalances the overall look by making her appear top heavy. Nor should a very tall girl look scalped. In school, a minimum of makeup artfully applied, neat hair and clothing, good posture and a pleasant face will best start the day for her. For special occasions, she may want to give her eyes some extra attention. Use tiny feathery strokes when you arch the brows so that they will appear more natural.
blondes especially, must take precautions not to make a heavy application of makeup. Every face has its own individual needs in makeup and hair. Each one must find what suits her best and stick to it. Don't follow all the fads. While they can be fun, they may not necessarily be becoming. Practice will improve technique and the results can be very gratifying.